So, you know, back when I was young, I used to go out to the clubs. I started going to clubs when I was like 15, 16 years old. Club in Augusta, Georgia called Tenant Windows. It was a teen club. It was called Tenant Windows, but it did not have any windows. That was a hot box. So when I tell you we used to dance, we used to have so much fun. And this is like Dirty South era, Lil John, the East Side Boys, Yin Yang Twins, Outcast, T.I. I think Ludacris was out by then. Like we used to be in it and we used to be having so much fucking fun. I used to love to dance. And then as I got older, I would be going to clubs, same hip hop clubs. There'd just be different places from Valdosta to Atlanta. And I have had so much fun, but lately the clubs are just not the same anymore. It's like you go to these clubs and it's nothing but sections and ain't nowhere to dance. And I'm trying to dance and I had to find somewhere else to party. That's why I had to give up on hip hop clubs. Let's talk about it. So, of course, it's your boy, Eugene Smiles. We are back. Make sure you follow me on all social media, Eugene Smiles with a Z, with a Z. Today, we are talking about why I have given up on hip-hop clubs. Now, <clears throat> some people are going to hear when I say I've given up on hip-hop clubs. They're going to be like, oh, you giving up on black clubs? You only go to the white club? No, I said hip-hop club. Now, let's explain what the hip-hop club is to me. As you heard in my intro, I have been in hip-hop clubs, which are you know, normally black owned clubs that play predominantly hip hop music. Back when I was growing up, you know, we had the crunk era, Dirty South was running shit. Music used to be lit. And also when we used to go, we I was in Augusta, Georgia, so we had like high school rivals. So a lot of times high schools will, you know, have their football game and this would be like the after party. So whoever the two schools were, the black schools Usually their dancing girls would go, their drum majors would go, everybody, you know, would be there. And the club would be so lit. I mean, the walls sweating, you sweating. I know we used to get dressed to go to the club, but I don't remember being, like, super fancy. Used to be, like, you know, cute, but you just knew that you was going to sweat your shit out. Like, <clears throat> clothes were going to be messed up. Hair was going to be sweat out. It was going to be lit. The dancing girls would be in the club. Jay sat in. Like, it It was lit. It was. <laughs> it was definitely lit. And I've always loved to dance. Always loved to dance. And if you ask people that have probably used to see me dance way back in the day, they will probably be like, oh, he used to dance nasty. Because they used to be like, oh, you should be a stripper in high school. You should be a stripper because you dance like a stripper. Oh, okay, thank you. I guess it's a compliment. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so as I have gotten older, and I've kind of grown up in Atlanta. I came in Atlanta to 2007. And I was still going out to clubs. We had Aja. We had 708. We had track, y'all. Like, we used to have a good old time in Atlanta. And we used to dance. We used to dance. We used to dance. Um, Now, well, I guess there was a point of time where I kind of just stopped going to clubs as much. I don't know what I was doing. I was at home chilling or something. I don't know. So when I remember going out to clubs, and I'm like, this isn't the same. Everybody's kind of just sitting around, looking at each other. This was before hookah became a thing. People had their sunglasses on. They'll be in their section. They might bounce a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't really like dancing. Like, I want a dance floor. And as I noticed, there weren't really dance floors. There were a lot of sections, and there were areas where people would stand in between sections. Then it was a while before I went again, and I went to the last club I went to. It was all sections which were really all couches it looked like a furniture store it was all couches and then around the perimeter were booths like it was a restaurant those were sections i mean even the high top tables were a section where you can rent and you can get hookah and i'm just like there's no dance floor like me and my friend literally had to stand by the bathroom that was the only place to stand if you didn't have a section and i'm not broke by any means I am not too cheap. I am very frugal. If that's y'all want to call me cheap, that's fine. I just like to I like to be able to swipe my car and not have to worry about if it's going, you know, decline or not cuz I don't ever have those issues cuz I take care of my money and I make sure I am like spending money on stuff that I think is is worth it. And I'll spend my money on everything. So 
and, and and I don't drink anymore. Like I don't I don't be drinking like that. So to be paying for a section, and then it's not like I'm buying a section because back in the day you get a section, and the section usually have like a couch or like a like a, a C shaped couch, and then a, a place in the middle or a couch and some room to dance. It's just literally a couch and a, and a velvet rope. <laughs> like it's still ain't really no room to dance. And I'm like, what, what what the fuck is this? What's going on? Like I don't I don't like this. Um, and, and it ain't it ain't pleasing to me and my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I don't think I'm going out anymore because this ain't it. It's like what? What you mean you're not going out anymore? And, and I'm just like, I don't. No, it's not fun. It's it's nowhere to dance. And my other big complaint with these clubs, hip hop clubs, is um they're playing the same music all the time. Now I am I am a huge fan of music of all genres. My biggest is probably gonna be R and B and hip hop. Um, I am a huge fan of female rappers. A female rapper come out I'm going to be the first person to listen to all their stuff. I'm going to listen to their music because I'm always going to be a huge fan of female rappers. I feel like female rappers are some of the hardest working, most creative um, people in music, women in music, because they always have to kind of do go the hardest and try the hardest and be the most, most of something to beat everybody. It's like female rappers, they get the short end of the sick a lot of time, but I love female rappers. So like, of course, Kim and Missy are my girls. They were my number ones since day ones. When Nikki came out, I was a huge fan of Nikki. Um, when she came out, and she was still very creative and not saying the same thing on every song. Um, even Iggy Azalea, huge fan of Iggy Azalea, but way before Fancy. Um, you know, I'm saying love Cardi B. That's my girl. Ice Spice is cool. I like Ice Spice's music. It's getting very repetitive. Um, but you know, I've always loved that kind of beat, that Jersey, Baltimore, Trill, Drill. I always kind of love those beats. So they kind of get me. They kind of get me. But the issue is when you go to the club and that's all they are playing. Now, of course, I'm going to the the gay friendly or gay clubs, if that's what you want to call them. And just because it's a gay club, and I know gay men love female rappers, baby, you don't have to pay. You don't have to play them all night. You don't you don't have to play them all night. I I mean literally, we know Nicki Minaj has jumped on so many features, so many features. And every feature she's jumped on has not been a hit. Sometimes the original song is fine, but they will play every remix Nicki has jumped on. Every single remix. And if you're a Nicki stan, you're definitely you're definitely getting your life. If you are somebody that's not that maybe just likes her music in passing or used to like her music. You don't want to hear that shit all night. And then it would go from there. Then it would go to City Girls. You know, I like some of City Girls stuff. You know, real ass bitch, give a fuck about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. But it's like, okay, y'all going to play City Okay, all City Girls. And then it goes into Megan Thee Stallion, which Megan is my bitch. <clears throat> I love Megan. But again, I don't want to hear the same type of artist all night. Nikki, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, City Girls. Maybe they play Lotto now. I haven't I haven't been in those clubs since Lotto has, you know, grow, gotten really big. <clears throat> but there are so many, excuse me. <clears throat> there are so many female rappers out, and they will play the same one. Even when they play Kim, they're playing the same Kim songs. They're playing, you know, Crush on You. They're playing, La, um, I'll say La Bella Mafia, the whole album. They're playing Lighters Up. They're playing Jump Off they're playing magic stick it's like okay y'all can play some other stuff like it's, it's okay to like play something different and that would just drive me crazy so that and guess what it, it's the same for reggae music now i can't do reggae all night i can't do it all night you know <laughs> I, I can't do it all night give me a little reggae section keep it moving but that's one of the reasons why another and i talked about this also the sections the sections why are most and i don't know if this is just an atlanta thing i was out in dc um not dc in new york a few weeks ago and there were a lot of sections there was a little bit of floor but it was like in but the floor the amount of floor in between the sections was almost like walking space 
it was so much room. It wasn't really a lot of room to dance. And I'm like, why are y'all got so much, I mean, so many sections? Oh, but you know, it's about money. The club industry is about money. It's not about fun. It's about money. And then I'm spending all this money and I have to get a bottle. What if I don't drink? Can I get that much juice? Can I get that much Red Bull? What, what's, what's going on? What if I don't want to drink that? I don't want to drink. What if I just want to dance? I don't get it. I don't care about no fucking section. If it's my birthday and I got a bunch of people, sure. But the whole club full of sections, y'all got to cut that shit out. Cut about half some sections out. Let a nigga have somewhere to fucking dance. Like, let's go. And I don't smoke no fucking hookah. Y'all got to let this hookah go because it's nicotine. Y'all don't smoke cigarettes, but y'all smoke hookah. Do they have nicotine-free hookah? Can we get nicotine-free hookah? Can we make it happen? Can we put some weed in the hookah? I can hit the weed. Can we put some weed in the hookah? Hookah. Hookah, hookah, hookah. Hookah, hookah. Hookah, hookah. <laughs> Another reason that I have an issue or I've kind of quit the hip-hop clubs is getting really dressed up. Now, I can understand if it's a birthday party, a special occasion or something like that, you want to get really dressed up. And I don't mind getting dressed up to go to places. Do not mind at all. But the clubs I go now, which I guess you can call them circuit clubs, I go to circuit parties, it really don't matter what you wear. Like, literally, I have a pair of, like, these black jogger kind of, like, shorts. I usually wear those with, like, a tank top or a T-shirt or something. And that'd be it. And a lot of times I wear that same shit every time I go out every week. I might change my shirt or I might change my bucket hat. I usually have that with a bucket hat or some kind of hat. And guess what? Don't nobody give a fuck, okay? They don't be like, oh, you wore that last week. They, y'all, this is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing here. You know why I'm here? Because I'm coming here to dance, and my shirt is probably going to come off it's coming off so i don't need to even have a fancy shirt on because i don't want it to get messed up i don't want to get sweaty i might lose it even though i do have it in like my waist or something they have clothes checked so i might lose it but if i lose it guess what it's a cheap shirt i can just replace it and why did and the thing is why who gives a fuck i'm going out to dance and party i don't need to really be cute i'm not trying to be cute for you i'm not trying to find a man i ain't trying to i'm, I'm going out to have a good time good motherfucking time okay i don't give a fuck and guess what? Judging. As you go to those other clubs and you don't come in your best outfit or your fake Balenciaga shoes and your fake jewelry, bitch, because I wear the fake jewelry, okay? It's a real necklace, but it's not real gold, okay? But it's, it looks good. Every time I wear my shit, they be like, oh, your necklace is so cute. I'm like, thank you. It is, ain't it? Thanks. Got it from Sheen. But <laughs> it's like they judge. They kind of be looking at you crazy. Oh, you got that on and it's, it's all of that. And, of course, everybody has their own style. So how how are you going to judge somebody anyway? But at, at the circuit clubs I go to, the parties I be going to, they don't give a fuck. Now, a lot of times these parties do have themes. And some people do dress for the themes. But if you don't, don't nobody care. And if you do, oh, my God, your outfit is so cute. You know, it's, it's, it's that. Nobody cares. They're going to have fun. And one of the other things that I – am so like turned off by it, especially because I don't drink so when you like stop drinking or you go somewhere sober where people are drinking you are literally get to see how drunk people act and I used to be a drunk bitch I talked about this before I used to be a drunk bitch okay I I, I remember or kind of remember like stumbling you know bumping into people falling over people tripping over people knocking over people's drinks like oh just just doing the most so, good thing for me, when I used to drink, I was a flirty drunk. Like, I would probably flirt and laugh and joke. I, I, was, a, I was a good old time when I was, when I was drinking, okay? Some, but everybody ain't a good old time. Some people are violent. <laughs> Some people are mean. That other personality comes out, and they're, like, just nasty individuals. And what does that lead to, people? Fight. That leads to fights. And what I don't have to deal with in the circuit club is fights. We do not have fights in the circuit club. I have not seen one. I've literally started going probably a year ago now. It's probably been about a year that I've been going to like the circuit club. Never have I seen a fight. Ever. Now, I have seen people like pass out. No, I haven't seen anybody pass. I have seen people like laid out, like sleep 
or laid out. I don't know. that Maybe they had passed out. I don't know their business. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But whatever they're on, because it's not a lot of liquor. You have some people that are do go to certain clubs and they do drink. But it's not a lot of liquor. So the people that do drink, they don't be that violent. I've never seen a fight. Ever. Ever. But baby, as soon as a a holiday weekend come along in Atlanta or Dallas or Houston, how many viral fight videos do y'all see? How many? And they don't never be at the circuit clubs or outside the circuit clubs or with the circuit club people. It will never be us. It don't never be us. So hold on. Y'all get dressed in your fake designer clothes to spend all this money to get into a club and to get into a section and to be cute. You got your fake Balenciagas and your fake Gucci glasses and stuff. And then y'all spend all that money to get in a fight in that those so-called expensive clothes or designer clothes. Y'all get in a fight and your face is messed up, hair is messed up, clothes messed up. Tell me if that makes any sense. It don't make no sense to me. It don't make no sense. And another thing I've noticed is security. Every time I've gone to a circuit club, I don't think I've had an issue with like rude ass security. The people at the door do not be rude and nasty. Now I've gone to these hip hop clubs and they asses be so rude, so nasty. They don't be, they don't say hello, how you doing, nothing. They just be like checking all your shit. Like the way they search you is super fucking aggressive. It's a lot. It's like y'all need to like calm it down. Calm it down zam because y'all doing too much and like i don't see that at a circuit club it's just a whole different atmosphere like everybody's happy which i think is happy now at the circuit club they everybody might do their little drugs but shit they be doing their drugs everywhere every class of people in every party environment shit sometimes at home be doing some type of drugs okay so it and it's absolutely no fucking judgment if you want to do something do something just make sure the drug ain't doing you. That'd be the problem. Y'all be drinking and the and the and the, the liquor gets you. The liquor be getting your ass together instead of you getting the liquor together. Learn how to control your shit. And learn if you are a violent drunk, baby bitch, you shouldn't drink. Maybe you should take you an edible. Shrooms. I don't know. Smoke you a blunt. Pop a pill. Something that maybe you should find something else to do because that liquor is liquor is really violent. And I, I actually do want to talk about how liquor is just the devil liquor should not be legal when we look at the amount of deaths that come from liquor from alcohol and and alcohol related accidents and stuff like, like we we should really talk about that but you know what I, I, I we're gonna talk about it right now we're gonna talk about it right now but <laughs> that's the reasons why i don't go to the hip-hop clubs no more and and a lot of the clubs i do go to now are the parties are the the um what is it production companies or whatever they are like white owned or or latino owned or something like that we do have a um dj named dj curtis who's black he he does he has started throwing parties in atlanta he's a dj good hot soap dj and he's been throwing parties and stuff like there and there'd be a lot of them it'd be a lot of black people there'd be mostly black people there and it's so good to see us do something because we can do more than just listen to hip-hop music there's house there's like techno, techno house. There's like the Vogue music. There's the New Jersey bounce and all this and New Orleans and so much. And that's the shit I like. And if I can't dance to it, baby, I don't want to go. I'm going tonight. If y'all have not heard of Leonce, I'm going to play a remix from Leonce getting us out of here tonight. But it's, I'm going to see Leonce tonight. Mm-hmm. And his shit be real dope. Mm-hmm. So if y'all want to listen to some Leon or B Ames, she actually there's a party called Shaka Khan that I went to, and B Ames is one of my favorites, like remixer, producer, DJs, and she DJ there, amazing job. But that's the type of music I like to do. That's the type of music I like to dance to. So if y'all want to come see me, come party with me, hit me up, social media, Instagram, I'm usually on there. Eugene Smiles. I'll let you know about what the parties is going on. You can come hang out with me. We have a good old fucking time, but baby, I'm not going to the hip hop clubs no more. If you got a bunch of sections and, and you ain't got no dance floor, if all y'all do is worry about hookah and liquor, if y'all got aggressive security, if y'all gonna be judging me if I walk in there with my fucking shorts <laughs> that I like to wear every week, bitch, they clean. I wash them, okay? I wash them. If I ain't got no room to dance, I don't want to go. 
I don't want to be there. That's point blank, period. I hope y'all have an amazing fucking day, and I will see you guys next week. I'm out. <laughs>